Hey there guys, Hydra here, and welcome back to another episode of Terror Attack. Another? Yes, another, because you guys like it so much. So, I am stuck. No, I'm not stuck. Last time we finished off with this um, semi-factory building and the AI, which we were trying to get to run, which, well, it works. It works. But for now, we are going to get the factorization up and running. So, uh, get, st uh, get scrappers up, get the uh, refineries, everything I want to have inside that little building over there. Where we are going to gather up old machines, wreck them, and carry them with us with these um, the, the GSO receivers. And then we're bringing them back, and they scrap everything up, and we are going into the money. That's what we are going to do. I don't know how this works out or if we are actually going to do it, but you, you know me, I get distracted easily. And if I see something else, I just forget what I should be doing. The stupid green thing. That's a good boy. And bonk. All right, and for the next episode, depending on how fast we can go, I wanna do something with uh, flying and such because I've been seeing that a lot and I've been promising you guys that I will be bringing you things that fly, I think. So I'm going into the uh, salty plains, which are the blue areas, you know, that's where you find the most flying, well, enemies, parts, robots, whatever. Just anything that can fly should be around there somewhere. But first we are going to take you down. So come on guys, give me some energy. Energy, come on, go move your ass, work. Nope, nope, it has some blah, 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 blah. starting issues there. What does this do? Nope, we need some more. So let's just get some energy up and then we're going to wreck that dude. So that'll do. Let's just see if we can destroy that dude. Take all his blocks and build up our factory a bit more. Come here. Come here. Death. There you go, son. Boom, 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 boom. What? The amount of guns here is just really, really throwing down my FPS. Sorry about that. Where's your little thing? Oh, that was it. Oh, oh, oh. Giddy up, Harsey. All because of you. Come here. Nope, nope. There's more. Stuck in there somewhere. Whoa, we took down the least as possible. Take it all, take it all. There you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, the thing with these uh, retrievers in the back is sometimes a bit annoying because I'm not doing anything at the moment. I'm not driving and because of this, um, these blocks are pushing themselves forward because there is no space in the back. So what does that mean? That means that this thing has automatic, well, automated movement, I think. I'm just not... Wait, let me just aim for the base. There you go, look. I'm not doing anything. This thing is moving on its own because it has so many blocks on its back. Move, move, move. Steering, steering! No! <laughs> right, stop. Stop. Nope, it's not stopping. Nope. There. Thank you, tree. Thank you. So there we go. So there. And now we can ride again. Let's hope we... Yes, 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 yes. Good. Good, good, good. So our first load is here and we are going to build our base up a bit. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys because that's just boring as hell. So once again, I'm going to use a bit of finger snapping and just see if that works. Let's find out. So yeah, it worked. Um, I've had, I had to sacrifice our AI machine for this, but we saved it so we can call it down anytime we want. Once we have a $130,000 thingies, ballers, I think it's ballers. <laughs> this is what happened it looks freaking amazing let's just get rid of all the uh, batteries for now so I can show you guys 
a bit more without it being well everything Ooh. oh no oh no mr block screw you why am just get the battery dude holy hell there that's a good boy and i'm just going to get rid of these thingies as well there we go and we should have no energy now good you are going to wait a bit more in the back don't sneak towards us stay stay all right then i'm just going to block you there good good boy there we go so this is the machine we have right now as you can see there is a lot of shit in here this is where we drop off our, sh our stuff which is the uh well the double d gso receivers here we can charge our battery a bit um if if needed i'm going to place the second one over here because of symmetric reasons and well the path is really simple actually they go like this so they are just running in a circle and once they come here they go back but they will be scrapped by the time that they are pretty much at the middle um why are these uh, refineries over here since once something is scrapped well a refined material will come out of it that's true but what if we are going to drop off our resources here as well we might as well just get why is this i'm using the scroll wheel not my base stop dicking me stop dicking around with me so what is going to happen let's just see once there we go right oh wait <laughs> i blocked myself and i forgot about it wow nerd there uh do we want the shields up no we do not want the shields up so you go over there and we are just going to simulate a bit what's going to happen once we gathered a lot of resources so we are just going to drive into this a bit backwards and nothing will happen because these receivers well they do take resources as you can see or at least he wants to but there's a lot of shit in between so oh wait that's my player tag i thought an enemy was coming so what's going to happen I'm going to pull this one away. I'm going to pull this one away a bit as well. And this one. And yeah, my blocks are getting attacked due to the fact that these blocks are dropping on my uh, receiver. So that takes a bit of damage. But once I pop on my healers, there should be a problem. You, I want you to go over there as well. So this is what's going to happen. Let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because there's a lot of stuff happening. Oh yeah, I also put a jolly amount of uh, generators and healers and pretty much everything in here. Simply because I want to show you guys all the different amounts of colors and materials that there are right now. Because all these materials are retextures, like I said on the last episode. These red, blue, and green, and teal ones are coming from generators and uh, healers, shield generators, all that kind of blocks. And as you can see, everything works fairly good. Yeah. And we also made about 7k right now, I believe, is it? I'm not sure. I didn't really pay attention to the numbers over there. So yeah, and this was pretty much a smaller machine uh, I had three full uh, receivers over there and I believe that there's still a bit lying around because I killed it over there somewhere so yeah um, that's what we've been doing for now I mean it's it's really cool though no you should go in there dude you there <laughs> this game is trolling me so hard right now there you go who's your good boy now let's get just let's just get the energy back up here one 
two. And, well, whatever, just pop three over there. And we have a beautiful stairwell of things. So yeah, that's what we have right now. I am really satisfied with this because it looks so amazing. It really does. Or at least I think it does. Does that count? I think that does count. Oh shit. Yeah, whatever, just get the battery. There you go. And that's it. Yeah, so that's good. I'm going to place guns all over the place and I'm going to fence it down with a wall as well. So we are at least somewhat safe from some kind of random retard who wants to kill us, which doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen like, it happened once I think. And that was when we didn't have a shield yet. Hey, there was a block over here. Also blocks tend to despawn a lot quicker these days. So yeah, up to our next objective. <laughs> Look at that guys. I decided to dive a little bit more into the AI because maybe it was just the size of the thing that we made that made it just completely retarded. I don't know. So I made these two small little ones which are just the standard ones you can call down from the, uh, the payload terminal. And they actually mine all the resources away over here. So that's really good. Dude, go! Go, little dude! No, I think that they have somewhat of a range in which they are going to gather everything and bring them back over here. So, you, follow me. Come with me, little man. There you go, that's a good boy. And now, harvest. Oh, look! Here, the other one's shooting. Yes! We did it! You might just want to... Lend them a bit of a hand though. There you go, harvest. No, don't give your shit to me. No, I don't want it. So they're doing actually pretty good. At least a lot better than last episode. Also, I had a theory. I'm not sure if it works, but we are going to check that out right now. And as you can see, it's on the back of the machine over here. So yeah, my theory goes that these things can pick up uh, items, so not materials, but just really items and blocks. They call it blocks in here. And I'm not sure if they go to transfer it to these tractor pads, so let's just figure that out first. Because if that's possible, then we can probably automate it to transfer to the base as well. <laughs> that would be so cool. Come here, you little piece of shit. There you go. Don't destroy everything. I need your blocks. Don't know. No, oh, just drive over it then. So you, eat it. Are you going into the tractor pad? Please do it. Do it. Come on. Nope. And do we have a conveyor here? Nope. Maybe we need the, uh, the smaller ones. Let's just check that out. Oh, that would be so good. Take the resources with us. Ram! There you go. Take everything. There's nothing. Wait, I'm lost. <gasps> Ooh, that thing is big. Hmm. Dude, you should bring it back though. That helps if you go over there. Just just go over there. Just go. Alrighty then. Give it to me. There you go. Now continue. Continue. No? Alright. So what happens now? If I put it in the tractor pad, then these will take it. Which is good. Which is what we want. So, 
on paper these things don't take nor give to one another so if you pop everything in the yellow tractor pad then these things will on the base will take it without these interfering and taking them so that's minerals are pretty easy to automate now hmm oh no 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 don't do that no 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 don't take them please there you go and if we pop this one away then it will take that lift it up lift it up lift it up there we go and then it's just driving backwards this isn't the most efficient way true but it works there you go oh it also took my guns shit no my gun it's my gun and my cannon thank you here have this have this and have this there much better so what happens if we call down or just see blocks we can take silos with us but we need bigger silos then and we could pick up a where is it where is it where is that hmm. Seaver. scrolling 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 rotating anchor there uh, 20 shit hmm dang so this far the only thing that can actually carry um, items so blocks and that kind of thing holds blocks and the silo we should bring silos with us why not yeah why not we're just going to do that so we are going to blocks silo and we'll find the bigger 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 ones sure five give me five hmm how are we going to make this happen we have one more here as well so we have six. Oh, there they are all in line being pretty there we no just go there so that's the six we have so we are going to we are not driving because we are not in that machine okay let's see we have six of these now that's really good and we are going to hmm how do we make this what about put this one back there battery you should go somewhere i don't mind there and there so sorry if my face was like there <laughs> so what happens if we try um we need conveyors a bit as well but let's first see if this works wait we can just check it out there yes and now's the question if we pop all of these no 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 i want that oh i'm a real big fan of these uh, shield healer totems like healer on the on the bottom and then a uh, shield on top as you can see i have six over here works miracles all right so if we no 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 if we were to drive backwards into this and we do like so yo take it from our silo do it shit and another theory busted frick how are we ever going to do this or am i just too far away wait a minute if we pop this one over there we just do this take it it doesn't do what I wanted to do dang we were so close to something really good but nope nope 
Then what? Then there's no way to automate this whole thing, I guess. I'm just going to pop the silos in here, because we don't need them at this moment. And then we're going to just return this one, pop this one there, and there we go. So, there is no way to automatically transfer items from a uh, machine holder, like uh, a silo or a tractor pad or whatever, onto a receiver. Pity though, that would be really amazing. Huh. Because then you could make machines, like factories, which would be well, terrifying. <laughs> Make monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away. No one likes you. Hmm. Then what? So then we did an extra thingy on the AI, which sometimes work. And we had another look on the uh, automation of resources and gathering all that kind of shit. <sighs> I really wish that was automated though. Oh yeah. Oh wait, let's take the red one first. That thing in the back is going down. Yeah dude, you, 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 you're stuck on a rock. What are you going to do? Bye bye. You're still, you're so cute. Um, you should run away. Run, run. This is going to be a never-ending battle. Because that thing is fast. Oh look, another block down. Good. Oh, he's surrendering. Boom. You're dead. Oh, he has the drill thing. Whoa. FPS, who needs it? Your anchor blocks are under attack. No. So yeah, we actually were attacked. I mean, they killed one AI, which is over there, and there's just one wheel left. <laughs> May he rest in peace. And the other one is just being a derp against that tree over there. So someone around here has killed our AI. And our base has killed the same person, people think. What else did he kill? He killed nothing further more, it seems. At least I believe. I missed nothing, so everything's still here. It should be good. So nothing got destroyed, except for the uh, two AI derpies. But yeah, that's fine. So yeah, let's wrap up the episode here for now. Um, we've been doing a lot of research, I think. Um, we can conclude that um, there's no way to transfer blocks, so the items, wheels and guns and that kind of shit, um, to automatically transfer that from one machine to another. Um, items on the other hand, or now I need to say it right, materials on the other hand are transferable because you can just transfer them from these uh, receivers into the tractor pad and vice versa. So I can just put all the resources in here, I can just pop them up there and it will be transferred through these receivers. But there's no way for items yet to be automatically transferred. I don't know if that's going to be a part, but I doubt that they won't do that. Is that, is that English? Let's just say that I think that they will implement that someday. Um, yeah, well, AI, AI is really, it's, it's better, still better. And they actually mine resources, so that's good. So for now, um, that's the episode. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on our next adventure. So yeah, um, bye. And just go, okay, okay guys, we got this shit. Beat, beat, beat. Hand grenades, hell yeah.
Okay, I'm going to toss a grenade at you. Yes! <laughs> I got you good there, son. Oh wait, I gotta reload. No! <laughs> I just stepped on a grenade. Yay! Hooray for my stupid mouse. Stupidity. Stupid. 